in EMS, the routine auscultation of heart tones is something that's largely ignored. And oftentimes, this is due to either a lack of education or just the comfort level of the EMS provider. However, the goal of this video is to help you give you the tools, I should say, to add a routine heart tone auscultation to your patient assessments. Oftentimes it can be difficult to hear heart tones uh, in the back of an ambulance, and so the time to do it if you're going to is on scene where you're not going to have road noise or sirens going on in the back of the uh, in the background. So when a heart valve opens and closes, it gives off vibrations, and that's what we're actually picking up with our stethoscopes during auscultation. The vibrations uh, occur as blood flow inside the heart. The heart's chambers rapidly accelerate or slow through the valves as it opens and closes. The ability to auscultate these sounds can be very different between uh, types of patients. A morbidly obese person is going to have much more difficult uh, heart tones to auscultate than a frail elderly person would. So what's normal? Well, let's take a look. S1 and S2 are the names given for normal heart tones, and this is described as a lub dub. I'm sorry, a lub sound. Uh, the sound itself is kind of low pitched and dull, and it's auscultated during the contraction of the ventricles when the tricuspid and the mitral valves are closing. With S2, you get a dup sound. The sound itself is high pitched, shorter in length than S1, and it's louder than S1. S2 can be auscultated when the ventricles have relaxed, which is also when the pulmonic and aortic valves are closing. So what's abnormal? Well, an abnormal heart tone is called S3. It's often uh, termed a gallop. The S3 sound can be heard in healthy children and adolescents. However, if you have it in an adult, it's a negative sign that's often associated with heart failure. So the S3 sound is called a gallop because it sounds just like a horse galloping kind of at the end of the S1, S2 sequence. S3 occurs because of the vibrations created from uh, a very rapid ventricular filling on the walls of the ventricles themselves. So now let's take a look at the best places to auscultate each of the four heart tones. So as you can see in this photo, we're looking at the aortic valve or the aortic uh, heart tone that we're going to auscultate. You want to place your stethoscope roughly in the second intercostal space, just to the right of the sternum. And as you can see in this photo, we're looking at the pulmonary valve heart tone, and it's going to be in the second intercostal space, just to the left of the sternum. For auscultating the tricuspid valve, you're going to place your stethoscope roughly fifth or sixth intercostal space down, uh, almost hugging the base of the uh, xiphoid process or the base of the sternum. That's going to be the best spot to hear the tricuspid valve. And last but not least is the mitral valve. Basically, once you get to the tricuspid valve, go along that same rib uh, or intercostal space that you're on and go one stethoscope spot over to the left or the patient's right. That's all we've got for you. We want to thank you for watching this video, and you can check out more on our YouTube page.